we're heading into day two of our workshop, <laughs> which is always like the celebration day. Day one is the whole like heavy day of meeting, greeting, hearing the stories, gentle show and tell, and now it's just fun. It, but it's I love get the first day. It's, I love both days, you know. Uh, I cannot believe I've been doing these workshops for a hundred years. How long has it been? It's been about forty years. But here was interesting. Yesterday we had a conversation, and one of the women was talking about guilt over her sexual fantasies. And it's interesting because either women have shut it down completely and they can't create a fantasy and they want help or well, they're feeling guilty because they're having really nasty fantasies. <laughs> I've used fantasy. Well, of course, I mean, I think it has to do with the fact that I'm an artist. That every time I stood in front of a blank canvas, I had to have an idea or a fantasy or a story. An inspiration, something. Something, something. So I found that really when I was masturbating that uh, my fantasy life was a very important everything important that I have accomplished in this lifetime began as a sexual fantasy I would have a fantasy when I would masturbate and I'd put an orgasm behind it and I would repeat that and lo and behold I would manifest now I've never heard anyone talk about that the you value never? of sexual fantasy for manifesting the reality that you want. And so when we were talking about body sex, we were all excited. Irina put a map together of all the workshops that were happening this month and next. And there were 10 all over the world. Yeah, yeah, just stop and think of that. There are, there are 10 body sex workshops going on. And, and they're smart because they choose the same dates we do, so they're piggybacking. So it's Mexico and New York and Madrid and Israel and Canada and San Francisco and Boulder and Julia called in the morning. And I was thinking, wow, that energy, all of that healing energy. But here's the thing. This twisted woman <laughs> conjured all of this up during a sexual fantasy, and that's what you said. You said it all started. Yeah, it did. And I'd put an orgasm behind it, and I went, oh, that was good. And I'd re do it again the next day or uh, later on in the week. And I just kept pumping sex energy and orgasm energy behind my fantasies. But, I mean, I'm an artist. Well, that's power, and we never think of that as power. Our power as sexual beings. Right? Every day I'd go to the studio, and I would stand in front of a blank canvas and look at it what am I going to create today now if I had something going it was like great because you could just refine it <clears throat> I have a cold but to to really just stand there and say what do I want to create I mean who gets to do that and who does that in their life right and I think that's Maybe the role of self-pleasure and masturbation is this time to go within, learn about yourself, and create these fantasies of what's my truth? What do I really want to accomplish? What do you want to do? And Betty, I want an all-woman orgasm army. <laughs> Every time I look at that photograph that we took it. From the retreat. Yeah. I mean, in the center, there you and, and a few of our, our, our sturdy you know, women. Leaders. It's like that's the, the core. The heart. Leadership. And then you have the second tier. I mean, it's just like the fucking army. And then the next tier. And then you have the foot soldiers down at the bottom. I I, I look at it and I go. Because <laughs> you can manifest. Oh. And I think, you know, we always talk about the body sex effect and how, you know, it's so rare for women to come to a circle and be seen and heard. So that's what we do the first day. And then we display our vulvas. We make ourselves vulnerable. We connect. We see the beauty. And then we see that we're all different, but then we're the same. And then when we do the whole orgasm energy, it's like whatever your truth is comes to the surface. And then you have the ability to transform, to move forward. Once you have that image, what is my truth? What do I want? You can get it. Whatever you want. You can get it. You can just go and get it. Yep. I am basically overwhelmed with, you know, at my age, 88, that everything is coming up roses. <laughs> and I got to thank this kid here because she's got the energy 
to make the phone calls and and, and <laughs> get everyone together and bring them all in and uh, it's and, a good partnership. Yeah, it, the enrollment is is massively important and exhausting. Well, there was a, a comment on Facebook yesterday, and I thought it was kind of profound. Profound. They said, you know. Wouldn't it be great if you post the dates and exactly when erotic recess is? We'll all orgasm together. Like you don't have to be in a workshop. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? Did, like the piggyback on the, the energy? And I thought that would be kind of amazing. Well, at some point we're going to have an orgasm. In I mean, uh, remember when they did hands across America? <laughs> orgasms across <laughs> well, America. Welcome to orgasms across America or around the world. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's a, it's the. It's the life force. It's the positive energy. It's it's the good stuff that we don't want to leave out. No. Let's go get some. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs>